Hello and welcome to another Witchy 101 with myself, Willow, and my beautiful sister, Drew, right next to me. So tonight we're going to be talking to you guys, but we're not going to be going into too much detail. We're just going to talk to you a little bit about connection and how you can connect to certain deities and how meditation and other things can help. But first, I'll put you over to Sister Drew to see if there's anything she wants to say. Yes, welcome in everybody. As you know, I am Drew from Drew's Abandoned Paranormal Vlog. Well, I've not got the abandoned anymore, so it's Drew's Paranormal Vlog. Uh, and yeah, we're not going to go into it too much tonight because our beautiful sister Mystical is not with us. But we wish her well and she will be back up on her feet, I dare say, by Tuesday for her stream. So yeah, we're just going to talk a little bit about connecting, what you can all connect to. And we're actually quite lucky because Sister Sherry and Sister Mystical have been putting out a few things on their channel over the last couple of weeks. So we'll definitely be directing you over to that at the end of the stream. But Sister Sherry's got a lot of different things she wants to talk to you about tonight that we can't essentially connect to. So maybe you want to talk, start for there, Sister Sherry, about what don't know what you want, different things you can connect to first. Or say hello to everybody first, I think, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a full house. Welcome, everybody. We have lovely Misty Mountain. We have lovely Mystical, our sister. Come in, we Mystical. have got Kerry. In, Kerry I always call it Kerry. I'm so sorry. She's all. Sherry, Kerry. Well, obviously, Sister Drew. We've no, it's got Kerry. Kim. Yeah, Kerry. Kerry, yeah. Uh, lovely Kim. Welcome, Kimmy. Well, I've said Misty Mountain. I'm sure I said Misty Mountain. So, yeah, at the minute, that's all we see in there at the minute. Misty Mountain. Welcome, everybody. Nice to see you. I'm sure there is more people just lurking by the looks of it. So, yeah, um, it is yeah, an interesting well. topic. It is an interesting topic to talk about. Obviously, there's so many things that you can connect to out there, not just deities and energies, but even like the, the land itself, flowers, plants, trees, energy, you know, then you've got all of the different di divine energies like your dragons, you've got your fae, elementals, spirits, spirit guardians, uh, you, there's so many. Yeah. You can connect to in that. And there are so many different ways. Yes, to we do love it our hair well, guys, like. don't we? Yeah. I was yeah, like, oh my god. It yeah, was exactly, sad guys, and there's so uh, many different things. <laughs> it's just missed this uh, idea to get it done. So there you go. I don't, Come forward Drew, to the it, makes a bit more, more. Makes you look more goddess, Sherry. I said I think that's what they're trying to do. I don't know what they're trying to do to Jeez, me, but goddess you look with the colour. <laughs> yeah, I've got grey hair usually, but I'm going to put a little green hair, sorry. But I'm going to put a little bit of blonde dye in my hair again first, and then I'll put my green back in. So if we are I raising up to goddess status, then I think no, we're we here is kind of going to follow that. <laughs> I think that's what they're zapping us to do. Bring that energy out. Come on. And if you've noticed so, yeah, as well, my hair's kind of started getting higher. <laughs> yeah. Welcome in, Christina. I was what hello, Christina says like I was going to because I thought that would have looked really cute, but then I was like, nope, just leave it the way it is, you know. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a lovely colour. Yeah, so let's vibrant. think about this for a minute. <laughs> think about this as well, guys. Over the last from we started Witchy 101, we've been trying really to get you to a place where the ease are grounded, you know how to ground yourself. He's are probably at a stage now that he's are meditating quite good and connecting maybe, even if it's not fully to something, he's are probably connecting to a voice at least. So that is why right now it's important to start thinking about who you want to connect to, who do you really want to start guiding you from the other side? Because remember, we couldn't do this, guys, if it wasn't for our guides, especially me who doesn't quite see spirits yet or things like that so i think sister sherry connected to what was it you connected to then sister sherry as a young girl was it your elemental spirit first my first ever spirit was aura right okay and that was when i was five 
when I was sitting in my bedroom crying and making loads of noise and she decided to show herself to me for the first time and went like this massive mm. thing. I was just like, as a little yeah. girl, like, what the yeah. hell's that? And then she put her hand out to me and I that was it. That we could yeah. see through, like, each other's eyes. It's really weird. So through the really years, I'll just let's turn it a bit in an interview. <laughs> so through the years, what have you all connected to then, if you don't mind saying? You don't need to tell us everything, of course. Right, well, so obviously I've connected to Aura, and you've yeah. got Darius, yes. you've got Shad, Mist. Mm. Obviously I talk to my pups as well, so I do talk to Astro and Shakara. Um, obviously I do connect with other energies of nature as well. I have spoke to, like, Tree gods and tree spirits and, yeah. and things like that the fae the fae is another one i've communicated with extra terrestrial i've communicated with and channeled um <laughs> yeah. oh my god you're asking me this would so be all night yeah no so what would you say then for the guys starting out what would be the e and the goddess of course we've connected to and the, goddesses. God, the goddesses yeah I so just what do you think would be goddesses. the easiest for them to start connecting to for me it was my ancestors i do believe when i first started to do this it was my day which is great which is gaelic for granddad I do believe when I first started this, it was my day that was leading me because when I tried to do the Ouija board and things, um, it kept coming through the spirit box at the time. Day, and I didn't realise at the time it was saying day. It wasn't until I li listened to it back, maybe about a year or two later, that I heard it, is blocking it. So I think essentially when I first started, it was my ancestors that, popped in such as my gran and my day that helped me to start with so i don't know if that's maybe even a good place for some of you to start and as i said before i was always connected to the moon and didn't really realize it so most of us will be connected to something but we just don't really know what it is so sit and think about what it is for you guys because i believe it was the moon all along and then probably after Santa Marta intervened to help me connect, I do believe it was my granddad and things. So, kind of think about that. So, do, what family members, Sherry, do you think guide you? Is that Darius is always obviously a friend, isn't it? No, Darius is Aura's brother. All right, okay. I thought he was a, so a person you knew. Did I you learn something the other day? Yeah. Right. Darius and Aura are elemental, okay? And I think, like, my first communication and the one that I really started out with was actually, in fact, trying to communicate with my guide because, obviously, your guide is going to be the one that opens you to being able to speak to your family, your loved ones. Yeah. Another one, if you're not feeling comfortable with trying to reach out to your guide straight away, then, yeah, it would be your ancestors, like your nan, your granddad, your auntie, because, you know, they do have that energy to be able to come through. So I found mm -hmm. it's a bit of a mix and match with me. It would be my guides and it would be my aunt and my nana that I didn't know was my yeah. nana at the time. I told you the story about that before, that yeah. she's a witch and stuff. And she learned me a lot of my education and me being a witch. Them coming to find out years later she was actually a witch and that's why she was learning me it. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. so it was really my mm -hmm. auntie and my my nana and the, you know, my spirit guide so it would have been aurora that i spoke to right okay i've not of mystical comment and i had my spirit guide i did have i've got a human spirit guide which is my best friend tony now he was somebody that right, okay i knew i knew you had not. said something about yeah, a Tony. Person. tony's yeah. one of my human spirit guides he's like my mate that passed away so i have him so they were really the main three that I communicated yeah. with, along with Aurora. Obviously, Darius come a little bit later because I obviously had to be mm -hmm. used to Aurora. And you find that they pop in for different reasons, don't you? You find that sometimes you'll, you'll do something, even just such things as tarot readings, and you'll feel that it'll be like my grand's energy. And you will get to realise the different energies, guys, and sometimes there'll be a smell there. Or there'll be a certain vibration that you feel. Yeah. And then with my grand, she always had really soft hands. 
So whenever, when I feel my grams around, I always feel as if my hands have went like a little bit spongy. I always sense a little bit more of a scent in there because she always used, uh, and I've told you before, honeysuckle soap. So I always know when she's around. Some of the, the energies are a little bit more... Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, Phoenix. Some Hello, of the other Phoenix. energies are a little bit more hard to figure out who. But I've tried my hardest to work with Bridget for a while. And I do believe Bridget did come in and work with me for a little while. But then I think Hecate realised that she would be better off to work with me. And because I was talking to a lot of people who Hecate was their goddess, I do believe... She then stepped in there, then to take over from Bridget. But I can still feel Bridget around sometimes. More, more I would say, around Christmas and things like that, when it's a little bit more traditional things. But my point being that I'm saying to you guys is, don't limit it to one person when you're first no. trying. Maybe reach out to the, to the moon, reach out to the goddesses, some of your ancestors that you can trust, as Mr. Glow says, <laughs> you know. Yeah, oh, definitely, feel person. definitely ancestors and stuff first and your, your guides and definitely the moon. The moon is re really good. Like, even if you're just starting to learn to be able to pick up on the energy, she's really good because of her energy power. So, like, sitting there saying something to her and see what you feel <laughs> from her coming back. And it'll, it'll help you to to tune with your with your head as well. Because even though she's the moon and that, she does have a voice and she does have an energy and she does talk to you just like your gods and your goddesses. She is a, she is a goddess. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. they do talk yeah. to you. So she'd probably be a really good energy to try and reach out to first because she she knows everything. So yeah. she'd be really good. She's in the sky every night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's always yeah. here. Then, like I said, your loved ones and yeah. your spirit guide, which would normally be like a family member or something, or it may be a spirit of somebody that doesn't know you but maybe knew you from a past life or has something of value to you. So they may work with you for that reason. There's a lot of a lot of reasons. Hello, Facebook user. I don't know who you are. I can't Welcome see your name. In. Welcome in. Yeah. Exactly. You know, them energies are really good. Like Sister Drew said, it's really hard when you get to the more complicated ones, like your dragons and stuff. There's going to be certain feelings yes. and energies they get off with you. Like with me, for instance, when my shad and my mist is around, I'll get like a very powerful, ancient feeling. And I'll okay. get a, a, this um, horrendous heat around me because mm. obviously of them being dragon and whatever, I can feel when they're there. Some They'll make you feel very light as well because of their energy and who they are hello james hello nigel hello to both of you it's lovely hello to see you both everybody in can I ask you to please subscribe and share out please thank you so like obviously with them that is that sort of thing you'll get a very like light feeling from them as well obviously where they fly and they have got very placid um temperaments even though they're very powerful you know what i mean then mm -hmm. Oh my god, what yeah. would you say about your fate? Your fate can get a lot of energy in fate. Yeah. But you would start to feel quite a mischievous feeling when the fire are around because they're very mischievous. They like to play tricks on you and move things about, and you'll get this like playful yeah. energy around you, like a very See, playful I energy. think that's what was wrong with me the other night. Do you remember the other night when I was live? I had a yeah. little bit of a, a giggly, joyfully. Yeah. Uh, and they kind of fit you like it. that. They, they kind of fit yes. you like that. Yes. I think it was my fairy. I'm blaming this little dude here. If, as I, for the people that don't know this, it's just maybe watching this. This little fairy's been in my life for a, a little while now. I think it was my daughter that got me. Either that or got it in the Freya's Cauldron box. But she used to only sit in my altar and I would maybe think she was looking at me. But over the last year, where I've really been starting to try and think, do I want to do this woodland adventure stuff? I really feel as if... I'm getting a lot of the fairy energy. And I got the vibe off her that she wanted off the altar. And at one point she had the five elements around her. That I've got little discs, it's the five elements. And she was in the middle. And then now she wants to be up here next to the, on top of the yes, no coin. So I'm playing it by ease with her just now, guys. So I think I'm getting yeah, a lot of energy. <laughs> 
they're quite a particular energy that they, they like things a certain way and they will you'll find that you'll move them around a lot because they 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 don't stay in one place very she long. Wants to stay in that nice. she looks very nice she looks very nice energy. they're very very active yeah. energy and very good at influencing you to get things to do with nature very good at doing that so that is what's well, happening I think that's why she's me became yeah. because as she's i was saying i want to I want to start. I mean, last year, for a lot of you that already know me, you all know that I started to hear the trees talk. And this will sound bonkers to a lot of people, but I started to hear the trees talk. So now that I'm doing, I'm going down this new path of what I'm doing, I think that the half maybe step forward to help me when I do go into the woods because I want to get to a place where I'm, I'm connecting to the plants and things and I'm feeling their energy. And I'm feeling what they want to tell me they're healing for and things. So I feel as if that is why the fairy energy is stepping forward now more in my life. So as Sister Sherry says, it'll be an interesting journey because they're interesting characters. <laughs> they are. They're very playful, very mischievous. Very, You'll get a very happy, very childlike feeling when they're around because they are like that. They, they're into everything. That's all I'm going to say to you. Welcome uh, in, everybody that's coming in. When do you come to like your spirit guides and that? There are so many different spirit guides. You've got your angels, you've got your guardians, you've got you know your normal spirit people, you've got your spirit animals, like your totems. Mm. There's so many forms of energy that they're all going to be very different. But when you have your spirit guides and stuff like that around the ones that are supposed to work with you yeah, and help you on your path, you'll get a very caring but educational feeling from them because they're supposed to put you on your path they're supposed to learn you things so you'll feel very like educated when your guides and that are around you you'll very feel very loved and safe as well because that is yeah. what a lot of your energies do your animals do the same thing but obviously every single one of them energies have got different characters so you might have one that's really lovely but really grumpy so you'll be able to tell what their different energies are to who they are you'll get to know your guides, you know what I mean? You'll be like, oh, that's Grumpy George or, you know, yeah. but you wouldn't obviously call him Grumpy George, you just call him George, but you'd know by how, what he gives off. You know what I mean? You'll get to know what each of them like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They've got personalities, believe me. See, I find that Hecate works well when I give... Yeah. I give Hecate... If I can, I give her moon water because I've got a lot of moon water that I've got stored up. Or sometimes for quickness, if I'm washing her up or down, I'll just give normal water. But she works better if you give her water that's been charged under the moon. And if you give her some jasmine mixed with rose as an offering just to sit on the altar. That's what our candle usually sits on, guys, is rose petals mixed with jasmine. And I find that is her thing for me. It could be totally different for somebody else. But I also feel like with Santa Mutter that I work with, who's on my altar upstairs. I think the most important thing she likes is more the incense and the candles. I feel as if, yeah. if I didn't like her a candle and right, like the incense both, then I wouldn't get any communication out of her because I think that is what kind of brings her in, if you like, is the the prayers, the, the, and the candle magic and the, the incense together. What? So you'll get to like... know all that. I think if you're going to be starting out to communicate with them, I think you all should light your candles when you're communicating with them because it just well, gives yeah. that opening and that doorway to be able to let them come through and it'll help you to focus. Obviously, as you get better at it and you get used to doing it, you wouldn't need to put your candles on all the time. But like Sis said, certain energies mm. and deities and things you work with like certain things. They like certain herbs, certain incense, certain crystals, certain yeah. water, juices, alcohol. Like, like mm -hmm. there's so many different characteristics to what they like. Like, yeah. I've got five or six different deities that sit on my altar, and they all like different things. So I'm putting different incense out to really? all of them, and right. different crystals. Exactly. Not, not forgetting my dragons as well. And, they like. And remember, that's candles. the way that you build up the trust yeah. with them. Yeah. And you've got to always have something. Yeah. For them. Well, you see, I would think, expect. yeah, the crystal. You can't just expect them to come and start I've communicating got, uh, with you and doing whatever. You do need to give goodness. them something in return, like to show that you're wanting that communication yeah. with you, you're wanting that connection. It kind of seals your relationship. I'm going to give sort of the dragon energy this. Yeah. 
Oh, I think it's actually yeah. I, yeah I'm going yeah. to give the dragon energy that I'm going to cleanse it. Oh, because I'm dropping it. I'm going to give the dragon energy that I'll cleanse it all and I'll give that's it. um that's chameleon, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit of chameleon, but it's a uh, uh, it's unclear. That it's might unclean. be good because that's like an it's energy. A rough that's chameleon. A good, that chameleon is really good because it's got so many different sides and energies to it. So that'd be really ideal for the dragons because they yeah, like different energies. Red so that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, and I'll just put that representation. I'll just dedicate this to the dragon energy. Ask if it wants to come in, welcome it, and maybe even try and get some sort of dragon character or picture or something. And I will just sit it on my altar, probably for as for as long as I feel that it's necessary. And then I maybe ask for a little bit more. And if that's the way that you build up your trust with them, guys, as well as giving them a little bit of your time to recognise them. Maybe even say a little prayer for them, give them an offering, and then slowly but slowly the communication does become clearer in your head about it all. Especially they when they know that you're putting in the work. You you just know guys. They it's, are a it's lot hard about to <laughs> Yeah. They are very much about respecting that. And you putting out, like sis said, putting out like a little offering for them. They really, really love music as well. So putting music on when you're doing it with them as well. They love music. So that, right. That's a way to your dragon's heart is music. They love music. So a bit of music, yeah. a nice incense stick. I find that a lot of my dragons like the dragon blood incense stick because it is right. symbolised with their name. So they do like that. They like all of like the natural herby smells like the lavenders, the jasmines, sandalwood, like yeah. all of the natural earthy nature smells. You know what I mean? They like yeah. all of that seems to calm them so there's just so much you can connect to as well though isn't there really i mean and as we said there's different reasons that you connect to them for for example i'll be connecting trying to connect to the fairies to help me when i'm in the woods uh, yeah. i always connect to hecate to help me with my my healing prayers and things like that usually with santa Marta, which is my she's more my guidance hey, hey, hey. than my than like my Hecate is my deity. Let me put that up. That's so Lee funny. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. It's Drew and Sherry. Lee is sitting next to me asking me a hundred questions. You'd think he's never heard of this. Bless his heart. <laughs> yes. He's so for, for, forgetful. Forgetful. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, Mr. Lee, that's why you come to these things, because it's good for educating. But like Sister Drew said, yeah. you know, they're all different energy and they all work different ways and there's all different characteristics. So before you even think about channeling or communicating, at least, like Sis said, think about the energies you're wanting to work with and maybe do some research and studying on them and their characteristics so you have a little bit of an understanding of who they are. Because you don't want to yeah. go connecting with a dragon unknowing of them because you're going to get the shock of your life. If you don't yes, I think you wouldn't start with a dragon. <laughs> start with start um, a normal little spirit, like your family <laughs> and your guardians. <laughs> your family. You know what I mean? <laughs> and the moon. A lot of you is one you know. This is more for the people that is starting off than the people that's in the chat just now. But the minute that you sit down, if he's are following our guidance, the minute he's are sitting down now and meditating, clearing your space and things, maybe even have a little altar set up and already doing dedications you'll probably find that the minute you sit down and ask to find out who it is you're connected to you'll probably find that you'll get the answers pretty quick if you don't already know because they'll be wanting to show you that they appreciate the things that you're doing for them and they appreciate you reaching out to them and putting them out some fresh water some bread some crystals or something and also it'll be important when uncle danny comes up because Uncle Danny, as I told you, helped me find a way to pay homage to maybe the circle of people that I work with because Uncle Danny showed us a way to make like a, it's essentially a salt and I've not even got mine, it's upstairs um, it's, a, it's essentially a, a bed of salt and then you put the representation, it's much like the grove, you put a representation of each of your guides your deities, the spirits that you're working with, on that bed of salt. And then so when you're sitting down to communicate and figure out something, 
you can make sure that you put one of your guys like in the middle of it so that you they know that you're talking directly to them. Yeah. So Uncle Daniel maybe talk to you a little bit about that type of thing and how to connect can do that. if he's a finding it hard. Yeah. And that there's loads really of guys. There's a, that's a really good way to do it. But if you did weren't somebody that's got the salt and everything else, another way like Obviously, over time, you're going to have certain things that you have represented to each of your energy. So when you're doing it, obviously, like for me at the minute, I'm starting to set up altars here, there and left, right and centre because they're telling me it's time now. But before, all my energies are on my altar at the minute. OK, so yeah. when I want to communicate with them, I have a Pacific table in an area in my in my den where I'll go to and I'll put their their bits that represent them on yeah. there. Then they know when they're took away from that altar, it's a direct communication for only them. The other energies yeah. know not to jump in unless they have to or they think they yeah. need to. So and, and it. it is all about keeping yourself protected and calling out to your energies as well. Calling out to them as well will give direct communication to them. If you're just yeah. going there and going, hello, is there anyone to communicate with? Hello, can you talk to them? <laughs> you're going to be getting everyone coming to you. So direct communication to the person you're wanting to talk to as well is better as well. Yeah, you know what I mean? definitely. So, I mean, as you know, over the last few days, maybe in the last week, I've been trying to do a lot more meditating and a lot more going deeper to try and get answers. Listen, more about past lives. <laughs> so do, through doing that that's also and I, and I feel that I'm connected to other things at that point as well so meditation is a really good way of doing it but oh yeah when you before you go into your meditation ask make a list if you like and then write it down before you start meditating and ask for these to be answered these certain questions to be answered and you maybe not get all the answers in the meditation but a lot of the time, once you come out of the meditation, maybe go to sleep and wake up the next day, you'll find that you're a lot more clarity of mind. You maybe even find yeah. a lot of ideas will pop in your head. So you'll have ideas guys. you didn't have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For and sure. that is what a lot of them do. They won't all come through to you when you call to them, but they might communicate with you in other ways. What you've got to remember as well, energies like to communicate with you in different ways. When you're doing your yeah. meditation and you're opening yourself to them, you're kind of giving them that doorway that you are open to communicate. So then they will communicate how they want to. Some of them will come through mm -hmm. to you. Some of them will be like, I'll go through your dreams. Or I'll pop an image or speak in your head while you're doing something. Like they, they perform in so many different ways, you know what I mean? And yeah. it's learning to read that. And to know that because you'd well, be a bit confused if you didn't know, you know what I mean? Like, if you hear something in your head, you're running out the door and it's not even. And that. remember, <laughs> for spirits can lie. So if there's yes. a random spirit around and pops things in your head, always make sure you know it's your spirit energy that you're working with. And you will get to know that, as we say, through different little things well, that you'll notice. There can be certain things that you say to your energies, yeah, which only they would know. So if another spirit yeah. was to come and you said that to them, they wouldn't know how to answer that. So you'd know it's not them because your guide's going to know exactly. that. And you can mm -hmm. do that. You don't have to be verbal with that. You could just call them into your head or call them into your circle and shield yourself so that nothing else can hear it and speak to that energy. Tell them their special code words. At least then when a the spirit comes, if you say that, you'll be like, I know you're not my guide. Yeah, I know you're not. Nope. Yeah, I mean, Look, so... Lynn, Christine, nice to see you. Sis. Hello, Christine. I can Hello. actually see you. <laughs> wow, yes. Yeah, I can see because I'm on StreamYards. <laughs> it's really good. It is really good to connect in that, guys. But like I said to you, make sure that you do do your education about the diets and know which diets and energies you're wanting to work with. And yeah, that's when you important. start to work with them, always put your protection and your candles up and always make sure you just directly call out to those energies. There's a lot of videos on Mystical's channel, on my channel. Sister Drew's got stuff on her channel as well where it tells you about certain diets and energies that you work with, how to call out to them. So you've got instruction yeah. to do that and what to say so it, you know it's not stopping you i'm just saying like it's information for you to help you choose educate yeah. yourself because it can be very dangerous connecting with other energy if you don't know oh yes okay, so the fairies open my eyes sure you <laughs> research research study and practice practice with your loved ones and with your guide okay because they can learn you when you're going right and wrong you know what I mean? And they'll be like, yeah. no, you don't do that. 
you have to do it this way or you have to be like this or you need this to bring into also, it. Also, you know. remember when you start opening up, you will become more open when you're walking past cemeteries and things. That's why, why when I always pass the cemetery and I always say, hello, spirits of the cemetery. Uh, I cannot come in and talk to you today. Uh, gatekeeper, I give you all the respect. I always say something because yeah. when you start to communicate with energies, you will become a beacon for them. So you want to kind of address them <laughs> before they yeah, see you. Yeah, <laughs> don't think you can go, go past them unseen because they will see you, I'm telling you. they learn. It's not just seeing you, but they learn what your energy is so they can pick that up for mileage before you even know it. So yeah. you trying to walk past a graveyard and ignore them, you'll end up getting zapped like I did. Yes, or like something because she was trying not to, I was trying not to acknowledge because my friends were with me, you know what I mean? So I do, I do the same thing. If I go by, I go, hello, my darlings, I'm not here to stop today, but I will come back and see you tomorrow. Lots of love, light and blessings. Hello, gatekeeper, you're doing an amazing job of the yeah, graveyard. Uh, lots of kisses and love, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll bring some flowers and I'll bring some stuff for you. And they're fine. But if you just walk past them and ignore them, they're like, they have it's not bad, like you your friends, up. yeah, especially yeah, someone friends, you've yeah. investigated. I mean, don't it's like look. walking past your friend's house and not waving don't. in or something. <laughs> One thing that's really don't important, mind. and you're going to make connection, and you're going to be without yeah. energy in that, don't look at them as something else. Look at them as a friend. Look at them as a, as a companion. Look at them as somebody very important to you, because they are. Like, you don't want to be just treating them like, oh, you're just there to do what I need you to do and go. No, they are a friendship and a bond, and they they don't have to work with you. They don't have to communicate with you, okay? Yeah. So that bear that in mind nice. as well. Yeah. So. I mean, I really feel that some of the times it's a privilege. It really is to, oh, is. for. I mean, think about the amount of ghost hunters out there, even the amount of people that's spiritually open. And for all that I'm not, one that can see them yet. And when I started off, I couldn't hear or see them. So it's really a privilege for them to say, right, okay, I like your energy. I'll work with you and I'll let you hear my story. So it's a kind you feel pride, proud when you know when you go back home and you go over the footage and the the audio and things and you realise that they've spoke to you. You feel a sense of pride. And it's you the do. same thing when you light your altar up and things as well. You feel as if you're doing something for them and you're giving them maybe a little bit of energy or even respect. So that gives you a little bit of pride to it's move on and do feeling. something else. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing it's, it's thing. Even, even being around your guides and stuff is, is, is a pleasure. The things that they can take you to see and the things that you can experience being in their, in their presence, it's, oh, oh yeah. my God. Some You'd be ever thankful. You moan about this world. You ain't got to worry if you start seeing because you'll be going off to beautiful world. So you wouldn't oh. care no more. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you're going somewhere in the evening. What else? It looks like your crystals all around you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there are some, a mad, there's some magical looking places, guys, like just out of this world, like things you wouldn't even imagine exist. But it's not our world. So it is going to be like that. It's not, it's not destroyed or inhabited the way that we are. So they yeah. have so much more beautiful things there, you know what I mean? So it's as if they've figured it out, maybe if not. <laughs> but I no, think I it. as well, I think as well, that is why when you go out ghost hunting and things, you've got to really know what how to connect. Because when you're going out ghost hunting, you want to connect to even just your energies around you to make sure you're protected. And then you want to try and tune in at least to some of the energies around you. Because I think a lot of the time they know if you're interested in them or not. So if you're really yeah, standing do. there concentrating and even saying, Spirits of the Cemetery, my name is Andrina, my friends call me Drew, can you please help tell me your story? Try and see telepathically if they're trying to tell you. You know, because a lot of the time they're maybe trying to test you, see how interested you really are. Because if you're not interested, they'll know that you're going to walk away within two minutes, you know. So really try yeah. and connect them on their level you definitely come in luna hello luna sis you definitely need to be open-minded when you're communicating with them and you've you got to be open to, them to be able to be communicated in all ways you're not just going to get your equipment going off sometimes they'll try to tap in your mind or they'll say something to you in your ear or they'll show you a sign in the in the yard or you'll see them walk past you've got to be functioning yeah. and tuning in everything because they'll do whatever they want 
Yeah, I mean, it's the so smell as well. The all, yeah, smell, I'm not all always, it. but I've all just the times they put that all smell in there. All your senses need to be open. Every sense needs to be open. Even if you say, yeah, but I can't see in that. It don't matter. It doesn't mean that there isn't going to be that first time that you experience seeing something happen. If I'm you've watching been after this, Phoenix. Enough, if you believe in it enough, and you open your mind enough, even if you've never seen a spirit in, in, in your life, there could be that one time you do because you're so believing in it and you're opening to it because you want it into. That's how it starts but, happening. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how it happened for me, guys. I, I yeah. tried my hardest to, to turn on a, a spirit box, uh, the recorder as well at the time, and I just couldn't get anything. <laughs> I the case too, first and it was only... <laughs> was a tree talking to her. She comes flying into the clan to tell her she heard yeah. a tree talking. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm either gone nuts or I've just heard the trees speak. It's not that, guys. Where I heard the trees speak, my niece at the time stayed right at that house, and I yeah. know her voice. So I'm like, no, nah, it's not even at her Chelsea's, and I'm like. I can hear, and it was a female voice, and I'm like, I can hear somebody speaking. But it, because it was kind of windy as well, I couldn't really pick up what they were saying, but I know it was the trees. I just know it. So we'll that see what happens probably, when I do start going down the woodlands. That is probably another good way to, to, to do your communication, is actually sitting in nature and listening to what you can hear from nature, because they're really good for, like, talking to you and waking you up. Yes. And nature is the most protective place I to love be in. Doing you're that. protected 100 percent in nature, you're protected if they know you're communicating with them. So they'd be another energy yeah. that's really good, like talking to your plants, your trees, seeing if you can feel something. And it isn't always talking through physical, it's even talking through touch. When you touch a tree, what do you feel from the tree? And what do you hear mean? it saying in your head? What do you feel when you touch yeah. a plant? And the plant, what does it say in your head? It's learning to hear what they're talking to you about. It's not always physical voice. Yeah. There is other ways they do it. That's what I want to do. I want to sit with them, maybe even just and around that I feel. It could even just be the grass. Who knows? And just Anything. sit there and see if you can tune in lay and start it. to hear. Lay on the grass. Year. Just lay on the grass like that. And just yeah. see and see what you get coming in your head and how you start to film. You'll You'll be amazed. I don't know if you remember, I took our Zach up. It's the back of Burtwood, essentially. But it's it's kind of like a circle that's all plain. When I took Zach up there and we sat down and we were doing the spirit box, but when we sat down, you could feel like a vibration going through the ground. So I'm going to go up there because I want to... I couldn't do it because I was with Zach. But I want to kind of further investigate up there because I've got a funny feeling that way back then... That, that clearing was made for a reason to do with work, yeah. Burkwood. So it's maybe been a, a place when it was like the manor house where they went to play like polo or football or who knows. But it feels as if it's been like, it could even be where they used to go for their picnics or something. So there's definitely a certain energy up there that I want to see if I can tune into. And there's always and daffodils will, and loads will, of flowers. You will find when you like go to communicate with things like nature and stuff that a lot of it starts off with the vibration energy and as you're getting that vibration that's when the messages start coming in that's why when you touch the tree first you'll feel the energy of the tree you'll feel the vibration of the tree then you'll start getting like messages in your head or you'll start getting visions of something and that's yeah. how they do that you know what i mean and a lot of what we do in communication is vibration and energy it's what makes us communicate it's all coming and connecting it so yeah that's why I had to start researching how to uh, actually ghost hunt because that was the first things that came up was learning how to raise your vibration enough to hear yeah. them and then learn your you vibration to. enough to relax. <laughs> You're, gonna to hear the... yeah. You're not going to hear anything <laughs> if you don't hide your, your vibration. Even when I was up there, I lost one of, and I don't know how i done it because me and Zach were sitting on the ground and I had, I've got a little pouch I don't even know if it's there. And I've got a little pouch that's been my protection stuff. Let me see if I can find it. And it's got a little... It might go in the other bag up the stairs. It's got a little Benedictine uh, coin in it. No coins, a little Benedictine pendant. It was in amongst the rosary beads. And I had two of them. And when Zach and I was sitting on the ground up there... One of them all of a sudden was only there, and I'm like, where did it go? And I, 
could not for the life of me find it. Do you know, guys, I think maybe one of those fairies have took it. And now this is the kind of call. That was them getting the connection to me. And this is me them wanting me to go back. Because they're connecting me through the energy of and that they call. Can. Some of them, they can do that. Yeah. They can do that. They're very, very intriguing. It's a perfect, I'm telling welcome you, in, you start... look, look. It's a perfect place. Oh, hello, Lee. You Seriously, oh, let me put that up. Hang on a minute. Let me put that up. Seriously, thank you. thanks for the series, guys. It's so helpful. I'd been going to a spiritual church and open circle for the past six months. I can really say I have learned more off you guys and mystical than there. Oh, that is so oh, beautiful, wow. and we're so grateful thank for that. You, That's amazing. That makes us thank smile. You very that much. Does. Oh, that brings a tear to my eye. It does. <laughs> I'm emotional. It's so good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Guys, the feedback is amazing. Thank you. That's why I think last week we took the pause, we, especially with Mystical being no well as well. Um, yeah. We just want to make sure that you are getting something out the course. Well, not the course, the teachings. And if we're going too fast, if there's something that you don't understand, definitely do it. Look, Bex just did. And let us know if there's anything you want to say. Mystical, well, I love the mystical subscribers. Thank you very much. Today, she's, yeah, she's a unless bit you wee face. Yeah. Mystical's unwell at the minute, okay, so that's why she's guys. not on panel tonight. But she is in chat, as you've just seen. So I'm, yeah. I know she very much appreciates all of the love and everything you're That's why we're not well. doing a full show, guys. We're just chit chatting because it's not the same without Mystical actually being here to help teach us. Because a lot of the things, as we've told you, we all do different. So the people that's kind of been following Mystical's path wouldn't know. So we need the three of us. Yeah, it don't feel the right, it doesn't feel right to go on to the proper shows without our sister Mystical. It just doesn't feel right. No, it doesn't I'm feel right. Oh, let's read what that says. Hang on. Curious I'm news. excited to see the plant ally I connect to most this spring. Last year it was the dandelion. See, the dandelion. even with your plants and your trees and stuff, they, they can be allies to you and help you with certain things as well. They're amazing as well, yeah. That's yeah. really good, uh, yeah. Kerry, sweetheart. This year I will try and get thistles. I'm going to try and make mm. sure that I get the thistles when they're at that nice purple stage, guys, and I'll get as many as I can and get them. Do you know how many times I walked past the land of thistles one. the other year? I walked oh, past this so many times and I didn't end up getting any. And then I kicked myself when they went the wrong Me too, like, sis. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't get them. <laughs> yeah. It's not that all of a sudden they go puffy and then they just blow everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not, no good then. <laughs> <laughs> One day they're fine. They're much like the cherry blossom tree. One day they're fine, then the next day you go out and they're like, poof. <laughs> It does, sis, but we're glad that you're getting on the mend and we are going to keep oh, doing yes. the prayers and the You'll get there, and stuff for you. Mm -hmm. You'll get there, sis. You'll You're strong. There. And You've if she does, guys, we'll be back. back to the Tuesday <laughs> shows. Yeah, we're just patiently waiting on you. Every <laughs> week we're like, but are, you, are you coming on? Just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll be celebrating by the time she comes back. We'll be like, oh, and poor oh. Eli as well. Eli's <laughs> sitting in the background still waiting on his chit chat again. So we will be back at it, guys. As I says to we'll Mystical, just banners. get better. We're not going we'll anywhere. We'll have banners and party streamers. Yeah, we'll like, Mystical oh, when she oh, comes oh, back. Oh, Woo! Yeah, good boy. witch jumper on tonight. Look. <laughs> good witch. Good witch, yeah. Uh, most I of love the time. Program. I love that program. <laughs> it says most of the time. <laughs> Is there anything you want to ask us, guys? Why won't we are just having a little bit, bit of a natter tonight? What do it's you think? Nice Is there anything you want to ask? Shows where we're not having to rack our heads, though. It's just nice to have a couple of shows where we can just relax and really, yeah, really engage with the groups because we don't really get to be able to engage with you when we're reading and doing whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll get that. Okay. That's what I'll do. I'll subscribe to you as well. Look, where are you? Well, most of the time, yeah. <laughs> you know, us, we're crazy. I'm okay. gonna, I'm gonna have a look for him as well. Yeah. Oh, I need to. 
I'll have a look after because you'll be in the room. Yeah, because so, you're on StreamYard. Yeah, yeah sister I'm on StreamYard. I'll do it after, Luke. But we do appreciate you, darling, and we're glad that we're very influencing much. you and helping yeah. you. It really does move us because we did sit on panel yeah. the other week saying, are we doing it right, guys? Are you learning? So to see this this week is just like... I know, I know. It's not that. we. The, most of the people that come in with chat and we talk to in the clan and things, they've already kind of got established. So it's yeah. the people out there that is sitting listening to us and doing the workings and things and taking their time to learn what we're telling them and going away and doing their studying during the week that, that, that yeah. people are meant to be doing as well. Go look into the things we're telling you about. Find the things that resonate with you through the meditations, through the shadow work and things that we've taught you. So the feedback is better because hopefully at one point, Sister Sherry and I and Mystical and anybody else of the sisters will have some sort of school where we'll be teaching people, maybe even doing individual classes and things. So we're hoping through time we will have some sort of network. So this is just the beginning, guys, to try and see how it all works to see if we've got it in us to do it. So the feedback that we get is amazing. It does, and it really helps us to make like decisions and that because it, is, it hasn't been easy to make this decision and to start educating you guys. We had to really sit and think about it because we're very especially when we're all ourselves. different, yeah. And we're very busy. And we have people we have to help, and we have our magical practices we do. But we just really, me and Sister Drew have been wanting this for quite a few years, and then Sister yeah. Mystical was meant to just be here and turn up. You know what I mean? So yeah. You know, it, it's right. It just feels right. But when you get that feedback, it really does help us because we are still on that line. Are we going to go into doing individual yeah, education definitely. in one, one mm -hmm. place? You know what I mean? Yeah. Are we going to stay together? And that's what we're trying to say as well because we are all different, guys. So we mm. don't know if maybe somebody's going to be like, why are you just trying to teach somebody when you're all so different? You don't know what you're talking about. You know, so there could be back, there could have been backlash to us from people that didn't agree with us teaching people so differently but I think it works out better that we're all different because not everybody in the world has the same life or the same lifestyle or sometimes I've not even got in the same country I mean look at I'm in Scotland Sister Sherry's in England Mystical's in Tennessee you know I mean these are all over the world so I think to have a common ground of the fact that we really just want to teach people how to connect to their spiritual self, how to have the backup of your guides there, that you know they're there and you can really, really lean on them in the hard times. And then if you want to go down the path of lighting candles, being a little bit more witchy, then we'll, we'll guide you into that as well. And that, yeah, it's and that's what we're like doing. Your spiritual mind. Like, yes, we're, we're witches and stuff like that, yeah, but we're not... We're, even though we are here and we are educating how you can use magic and how you can do it correctly and that we are learning you about other things like communicating with spirit and connecting because it all it's all linked in you know what i mean yes. and you, it's even to work in spell work and to cast spell work you've got to know how to connect to deities and energies to get what you want so you need to know your spirituality yes everything yeah you know i mean think about it guys if you Mixing a herb with a herb is just mixing a herb with a herb. It is yeah. you programming that herb. It's you putting that energy into that herb. And especially if you wanted the energy to come for somebody a little bit more powerful. Than, like with me, I'll say to Hecate to back me up for the healing and I'll make sure that I feel her beside me. And then that way I feel as if when I'm putting my energy into my candle... I feel as if through my fingers I feel her there. So you've got yeah. to know how to do that That's and why you'll feel see the a lot energy. Of that. Yeah. You'll see a so lot of know. witches and spiritual practitioners doing stuff over their stuff with their hands because a lot of that energy does come out of your hand. That's where it comes from. It goes in That's and great. comes out from your hands. Yeah. So that's why you see us doing touch. all that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not us going so nuts. It's, it's, it's us it's doing that. Nice. Yeah. You know? And sometimes my hands tingle for hours after it, and I think Mysticals yeah. does as well. Ever, sometimes I've got to sit and kind of my up. hands and things Have you after. ever found that they heat, <laughs> they heat up as well? Mine go hot. When I'm doing magic and I've got the energy 
and my hands go really hot and it's like whoa yeah we're ready brilliant misty and the candles, yeah candles i hope start, you do candles start doing mad dancing yeah. tricks as the energy gets bigger mm. as well so like, you can make the candle dance yeah yeah if you put your energy if you put certain energy into your hands and things especially with your fingers and you've got a candle you can start kind of manipulating the flame i know probably people think oh it's because you're putting your hand near it but you can actually start kind of moving it from side to side i've seen people do it so i'll need to try it one day i might be i remember the first the time i seen uncle the Dark, sorry. yeah Yes, we want to, we do guys. Want I have got an interview. We do. we do want sisters to come up and stuff. Yeah, we do. I've got an interview with Mr. Cat tomorrow night. It is 9 30 UK time. So if you want to come up and see that, come up for it, guys. It'll be interesting. I want to, yeah, I want to know how to connect. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's ghost hunting with a difference for because. People ghost hunt in old castles, the ghost hunt in old buildings or, or cemeteries. But what about the, the spirits side of the woods? What about the elementals? What about all the guardians the, the, of these castle grounds? That's where I want to go a little bit different, guys, with my, my ghost hunt. And I want to start trying to talk to the more spiritual beings and the spirits as well. Of course, I'll be doing that. But for my, my business type of thing, I want to show people that spirit side of it and try and connect to the the flowers the trees and things the water as well the water's an amazing energy oh, and if is. you sit and listen it to it you can start to hear things so and with, with nature obviously like when you've got your spirits and you've got your stuff like that yeah there are going to be certain offerings and stuff that you'll take down to them to to give to them and show them that you want it to communicate but a lot with nature and stuff it is about sitting and listening and feeling and hearing once you start to feel that and link into that energy, you'll you'll automatically start to know what that energy is and who it is coming towards you. They'll start to communicate yeah. with you, talk to you, tell you their names, tell you what they do, sort of things like that. But there are a lot like I go to nature and I'll sit there and I'll just tune in with the vibrational I energy. Knew what you I'll, mean, have, I'll have like all of the like all of the herbs and stuff that I wanted down. I'd sit there and uh, have a certain music on. I take a nice little incense cone thing that I put on a thing so that there's a nice smell coming through. I've got crystals in my hands. Yeah. And I'll sit there and I'll just, it's like meditating. It is meditating and you're sitting there. Me too, but instead of going into your meditation state of mind, you're envisioning you meeting the energy in the forest. You're envisioning seeing yes. something coming towards you in the forest. That's how you call them in. You know what I mean? But yeah, Missy, I'll show you guys first. You a lot. What I'm yeah. planning on doing, guys, is I'm, and I'm sorry, guys, it'll only be my members that get this privilege and some of my sisters in the clan that's, that's not in the membership. But I have to do it that way because if I put it out publicly, people will know what they're getting. <laughs> you know, so I'll yeah. probably share some of it in my membership and I'll take you around and I'll show you the walk <coughs> and I'll show you the connection. Enough. I don't get a lot of names when I go out, but a lot of them know me. Yeah, no, and they won't always uh, oh, um, yeah. say to you your name straight away. It's what that's what I'm saying. When you connect, you'll learn. It's not just by them telling you the name, but you'll learn by a certain energy or feeling they give off to you. You'll know who that is. Do you know what I mean? So you'll be like, ah, oh, that's so and so, or that's so and so, because they they've all got different feelings. They don't feel the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. You, you know, there's many ways to know and that you they're don't and you. see the, the feeling so of <laughs> and the feeling of the tree energy as well is different from like the trees, the feeling of maybe the spirits. Also, it's more like a it's more like a kind of there's like a a, a a buzz through there, if you know what I mean, when you're next to trees and they're communicating with you, there's like a certain not a buzz, it's like a certain vibration. Whereas with when, spirits, I've never felt like a vibration or anything. But with trees and when things, you I go have. like with when you go with like your tree spirits and your plant spirits and all this sort of thing, they've still got a very free feeling energy because they can still come and go from that tree and that plant and whatever. But you'll find yeah. that with like the trees and things like that, they have a very grounding feeling. You can feel they're very attached 
and you'll know that's their energy because they don't move. <laughs> They're in the ground. Yeah. Their roots go very low. So you'll feel a very like binding and very powerful yeah, energy the... of connection when it's the tree. That you'll feel that connection of binding because they're, yeah. they're there you know what i mean and you'll get the vibrational feeling and they give off happy feelings sad feelings yeah. angry oh, yeah. feelings they're no yeah. different you know what i mean that's it everything is emotion doesn't it? i mean everything yeah. is energy so therefore it goes up and down mm -hmm. they all connect oh, yeah. differently depending on your your need and energy yeah definitely i've just thought as i told you when we started this guys all i can do is tell you the way i've done it and maybe guide you through a little bit of what I've read in books or I've maybe seen somebody else do. But essentially, I will always be sharing with you what my experience is. So I hope that you get something out on membership when I start sharing it. Because I do feel as if you'll start to feel what I feel coming through the camera if when you are all spiritually open, I think. So it'll be interesting to let you see what I've got up here. <laughs> yeah. And it'll be really interesting to see it. And I do agree, Miss. And I'll do they it just after sharing when we go down. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they definitely do. Like, like obviously, you're going to know their familiar energy, the energy that they would normally feel like. But obviously, like I said, just said, they're going to be different depending on the emotion of them at that time or if something's happened. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You might go up to yeah. them and they're angry or they're upset or they need some love yeah. or they need to say they're beautiful. There's so many things, do you know what I mean? But yeah. yeah. It's, and it's all different things. Like energy will feel different for whatever you're going to them for. If you're going to a tree for like you're needing a healing energy from the tree, you're going to get a very powerful, you know, overwhelming energy of healing. And then you can go to a tree for another reason, like you're needing a certain love feeling from a tree to put into an energy that you're working with that's to do with nature. That would be completely yeah. different. That would be more solemn. I've so just noticed, Sister Sherry, see where you're sitting because your poster's behind you. It looks as if you've got a crown on. Yeah. Did you notice that, guys? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I've got a great screenshot just to make it look. Oh, as if it does, doesn't it? On. It's like got yeah. Like <laughs> there you go. She's goddess already. <laughs> Telling you Watch something. the video, sis. You'll understand more. I, yeah, and I, I definitely think, guys, that, that, that does want to start seeing what they want to connect to. Go back, Sister Sherry's channel, Mystical's channel. I don't know if I've got too much on there about different entities. Yeah. I think I've got things that I've done the shows with about different mystical things in Scotland, <laughs> but I'll probably do more now that we're talking about it. Yeah, but just make sure that you are trying to study and see what you just want to connect to. Not everybody wants to connect to the trees like me. <laughs> oh, you meant so cat ears. Cat ears, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> At first, but I said yeah, it just that this you can't really crown explain crown. The, the middle. Why would the cat have three ears? That's the only problem. You've yeah. got the ears here, I it guess, like, but there's something in. Yeah, it just looked like a crown. It looks like a crown, yeah. Yeah. But, the, you know, Definitely connect, guys, and, like, listen to your energy, connect with other energy and that. Like like we said, like, start out with talking to the moon, talking to some of your past loved ones, and um, your guide, your guide more than anything. Your guide will help yeah. you to open to all of that, okay? They're probably the first energies to start off with. Make sure you always use your protection and you put your candles and stuff on and always call out directly to who you're wanting to talk to. Don't just open it to anybody. It's very important yeah, and always make sure do that. that you do say <laughs> I do not invite any negative or evil energy to come in. You're not welcomed or invited. Always make sure you say that because you don't want to just be inviting anything yeah. in. So and if he's a very amazing experience ask. Yeah. And he's probably open. find that the minute you st sit down, you may even start hearing things that somebody yeah. wants to work with you already. Much like yep. Santa Murta with me. I do believe Santa Murta was probably in the background first started yep. trying to communicate with spirits. And also, she's good with a lot of justice things. And at that time, I was getting a lot of things that I felt I was unjustified with. There was a court case coming up where a 14-year-old girl had slapped me 
and I was getting charged for it. So there was a lot of different things going on that wasn't really nice for me. I, I wasn't, the justice wasn't on my side, let's say, and I couldn't win because she was underage. So I feel as if, that is when she came into my life, really, at that moment as well, because she knew I was, I didn't have, something unjust was having, was happening to me. So there's there's definitely certain things that deities will be attracted to you for. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So just watch out for that as well, guys. Yeah, definitely. You might have a few problems and you're okay, not Mr. thinking about Okay, Mr. Blessing, sis. Love you, sis. Thank you for coming in. Like, like sis Love was you. saying, you know, sometimes that you don't have to directly communicate with them. If, like she's saying, if if they do pick up that there's a situation or something going on, they will try to communicate with you. So having those signs yeah. and keeping an eye out for that as well, definitely. Oh, do you want to know? It could be good, guys, if you have not got a date yet. See when um, a star comes up. And then Beltane, you could maybe start reaching out to some of the goddesses because that is their day. So I do yeah. believe Astara is next. So even use, in fact, you could use um, Beltane to reach out to um, Bridget like I did. Try and do that. Yeah. Read up on her. See what she likes, what crystals and things she likes. Get one of the... I can even give you some of her little phrases and things she likes and see if she'll work with you. Because Bridget's one of those uh, those goddesses that typically she will start step in and try and teach you something if you call out to her. So try that at uh, Astara or Beltane because that's their day and Bridget, see if maybe they'll contact you then, yeah? Yeah, Bridget, Bridget. Yeah, she's really good to communicate with. Yeah. She is. And she's Celtic, so she's she's Scottish, yeah. so well, Scottish-Irish, mm -hmm. so... <laughs> Not She's nice. amazing. Yeah, but she will. She'll probably and Freya as well. I do believe's a good guider. Hecate is yeah, a little bit more picky. Yeah, yeah. I think we have to prove yourself a little bit first with her that you're Freya's trying. Really, <laughs> Freya's Sorry, really sense. into like um rose incense. So anything that's got like rose or like flowery smells, Freya likes right. that sort of stuff. Um. She also is really big on like animals and stuff as well. So even getting a little trinket of an animal thing to put in front of her or something like that, and maybe like a, a, a goddess statue, anything, just something to represent yeah. her. Put the, you know, the rose incense on, put her favourite crystal colour out. Um, you know, you've got like the different herbs. Yeah, that that you have for, like, favourite colour, I think it's orange her right enough. Season herb out. I do, even though it's I not. I would start. Guys, yeah. yeah, that's where I would start. Start reaching out to one of the goddesses. Bridget, I would say, if not Bridget, maybe Freya. Yeah, because Stephanie's a little bit more difficult as well. She, she's more of I'd a... I'd just stick to them too for the time yeah. being. Yeah. I think she more would work with somebody that's more established because they're like, get things done quick type of goddesses. Yeah. Hecate That's why you're well saying too. like you're researching you're studying. If you went on to line and that and put in different types of gods and goddesses it'll come up with the names, what they all represent what they're, they're about. Yeah. You, you can um, you ones relate to you. You know what I mean? Because they've got to relate to you as well. You've got to be able to have some sort of relation with them to be able to work with them. So yeah, I would that. sit with a list of them even and see what when you're drawn to and them. I mean I think there's that. They'll so have the name. 12 them. main ones or something. Yeah. And just remember, names, guys, a lot names. of people with Lilith, a lot of people think that Lilith is bad, but remember, no, every not. deity's got a good and bad side. Lilith is one of those deities that she, she, she can punish you if you do something really bad, such as if you promise her something and she's done something, she's one of the deities that will probably punish you more than one of the rest of them. And she's got a touchy side as well. But I do believe that if you're, if you're a good person, that you, the deities and goddesses know your heart. They know you're not asking for anything through malice. They know you're not wanting just quick fame, quick money. Most of them will feel you're a good person. You've maybe done the wording wrong or something because you're a novice, and they will work with you. So they are just try quite and reach out to one of them just overstep the line. That you're at the, that you've got a connection with. Yeah, Christina, everybody learns differently too. 
Some people they do, did. and it's all at different levels. That's what I'm saying. That's why, like, if you go and look and research them up, normally nine times out of ten, they'll tell you the different names, what they represent. They'll tell you what herbs to put down, what crystals they like, what incense they like, what offerings you can yeah. give them in food and drink. They've yeah. normally got all that detail online and stuff, so you can get it. You can even go on there and actually get physical spells and prayers to actually say out to your gods and goddesses. So you can invoke them as well. There are things out there for like invoking them and prayers and good. stuff as well. You know, there's loads. I've got goddess. You see what I mean? I've got more. They put it this way. I think it is intent, definitely. Yeah. See, for example, right, Bridget. Bridget is the Celtic goddess of healing, spring, and new life. And yeah. Animal Association, Oxen, Ram, Boar, Serpent, Raven, Falcon, Colour Association, Green, Red, Orange, White, Yellow, Gold, Plant Association, Angelica, Basil, Snowdrop, Heather and Time, Crystal Association, Carnelian, Sunstone, Priory, Green Aventurine, Association Symbols, Cauldron, Raven, Cross, Solar Cross, Offerings to the goddess Bridget, milk, oak, embroidery of flames, homemade jewellery, willow or white birch branch, picture of a raven, serpent, oxen, boar or ram, sun symbol, spring water and symbols of a solar cross or Celtic cross. So there's some simple yeah. things you need to have to reach yeah. out to. Them. And you can get all of that information. You can get that. And there are like... Because a lot of them that you come to invocation for, you will have to do some form of prayer. So you can get a lot of that stuff online where you've got oh, a yeah, rigid you prayer. Will. And the thing is, is even though you've got it set and wrote in a, in a particular way, it doesn't have to be that way. You can change the words in those prayers to make it something between you and Bridget. Like I've had prayers that I've found know. years ago and I thought, I don't really relate to how that is. So I put the main bits that are to her but I changed the words around to something that yeah. resembled me and her. And, and they she prefer finds that. Yeah. Yeah, they so prefer you just that. Guys. Just write in your own prayer. You can write your own prayer to her if you want to, as long as you just put bless be or amen at the end or so might it be, you know. Like, the more prayer. personal the better, I see. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah they, they appreciate it when it comes from your heart. They do. And then they know that's why the little offerings and things. If you're sitting eating your dinner one day, maybe you've not got a lot to give her, huh? you've not got enough to give them personally. But if you just set aside half a potato, even off your plate, and say, I'm sorry, I can't give you a full dinner, they appreciate things like that because even though you're not got what got a full dinner to give them, you're still giving them a little of yours. Things like that go a long way, guys, for them to trust you. Do you know what? Even if you don't have enough food to give to them and that, you've got a plate with food on the thing. Yes, you're going to be eating it, but they can eat it alongside with you. I just say, look, I haven't got much in today, but this is my plate of food and you're welcome to come and join me. And that's what I do and they do. You know what I mean? Because that's, like that. that's how I am. You know what I mean? Yep. It's food at the end of the day. They're not going to get funny about it's eating the energy you, you know they want. I mean? It's the yeah. energy and the respect, essentially, that they're looking for. So, yeah, but just that little, little tips like that. Make sure you know what they like, like their incense and things. Like I showed you, there. that's the main do you thing. Know what we could do Sherry. We could do the next. I think it is a star. In fact, a star will be tomorrow because this is what the day. We're on the second, sis. Now it's the second. Yep, yeah. I'm sure the star is the third. So on Sunday. Sparkle behave. Let us look up. Um, right, March. Come on. Can it, you never find it when you're looking for it. Right. Oh, it's March the 10th. Yes, 19th, sorry, the 19th. So what we could do then is in the 19th, Depending on what, well, it doesn't even really matter what day it is. I suppose we could jump on in between streams if it's one of those days. We could go on on Astara and maybe show you a little bit about how you set up an altar for the season. Maybe 
uh, things like that, just to give you a little bit of guidance on that as well, if you want. It'll give you a little yeah, bit that of guidance. Like You'll find guys as well, for all you as people that's coming in and you, well, this is what happened with me. At first, I was always dedicated to lighting the altars up for every single season. And then you find that when you, you get a little bit more established, that you don't have to do it every season, like a great big elaborate altar. You can get away no. with doing like little offerings and things, or little, you know what I mean? You don't have to do the big elaborate thing. So just remember that as well. You don't have to go all out. But a star in things is good, and belting is good because you get a, little, a lot of the wild flowers. So remember, Bridget likes like, the snowdrops and things. So right now, the snowdrops is yeah. here in Scotland. So Snow yes, drops, daffodils, anything like that. They do like yeah. their flowers. That's a lot of what a star is about. It's all of like nature and life is starting and stuff yeah, like that. Growing, so, growing. That's who yeah, it's that's is, a growing, that's who Bridget is. It's rebirth. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. putting all your beautiful little flowers in that, they love that. Thank you, Luna. Thank you guys for listening. Green Equinox is the 19th at 8 yeah, that's right, central time yeah. here. Yeah. Well, it's different, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah. we'll do that, we'll do we'll just to give you a little bit to show you how you actually set up an altar for a season um, and read a little bit out about that. And sometimes if you're going to do, especially one of the main seasons, you'll probably do a little bit more of a, an occasion. Like a lot of people it's belting, a lot of people it's just depending what season's more important to you. With me, it's Samhain and Yule is my favourite. And then and I'm belting because everything's growing back, like all your flowers and yeah. things. Then my three so main ones is Beltane, Beltane, do whatever you want. and uh -huh. Mayan, which is uh, is Halloween. They're my three main ones. But I do intend to light my artwork up on each season just to, out of respect, but I don't go crazy, crazy on the ones that are not my ones. Free, you know what I mean? I started doing the little if I, if I started getting the sub boxes. And we've got a lot of those little dishes. It's got sowing round it, yule round yeah. it. I find now they're really handy because what I do usually now is I'll just set up a little bit on that table and dedicate it to that season now. So <coughs> it doesn't need to be you something big like and elaborate. I don't have I don't have, I don't have all of the dishes and stuff, but what I do, the ones that I do like on the seasons I have got the dishes for. I put the candle in the middle and like that, and then I put the herbs on the outside on the jagged yeah, bit of the dish. Yeah, just, just do it just around it, and I do one. the candle, yeah, and I just go, here you go, here's your offering. I give you love, peace, and I thank you for what But if you've not got that, a, bit go. a plate? Yeah, if you've not got that, a plate? Anything you've dish. got? Anything at home. A Whatever. Plate, a cup, a bowl, uh, anything. Even make a bit of paper. Get a bit of paper, what? decorate the piece of paper and put the offer in the middle. There's so much you can do, guys. You and do you know something? Like they probably stuff. love that because it's got your energy yeah. in it, drawing, drawing it, you know? Mm. So, And I even do it. Like, even when I write out my little leaflets and I write my little plan flits, so I put little love hearts and little kisses. Yeah, that's it's like me with the little 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 You know what I mean? It's weird, but it's me. The ones that I had drawn, I don't even know what I don't want it now. The ones I had 10, drawn 10, out. 6 central. Yeah, like I was going to say, okay. like times and scales are so confusing, like because we're all over the place. Yeah, because we're over the world. Also, remember, guys, as well, see when you're out in the and during the day and you're maybe trying to, a lot of people say the moon, but remember the god is where god where, where male energy of the world, if you like. So, if you're out in the middle of nowhere, or like me with the clearing up at Birkwood, I want to go to remember work with that moon energy, eh, sorry, that sun energy as well. Trying, yeah. I mean, I'm not one that's really connected to the sun or any male deities or goddess gods or anything as of yet. Kuros, I've worked with him a couple of times just to be the balance on my altar um, <coughs> for the male energy. So when I'm down there now, it's probably especially one of my first times I go do it myself, I'm going to try and connect more to the, moon, the, the, the sun energy and that male energy, and I'm going to see where that could take me. 
to show a dedication to the sun as well this year. Maybe I'll try that. Because I've connected to I the moon, that, so let's see if I can connect to that. <laughs> I do think that both of their energies are really important because it's what makes our world and that. And um, obviously, yeah. I I do, like, show my love and stuff to them. That's why I'll leave my altar stuff all through the day and then all through the night because I do take both of their Oh, energies. yeah, I do that. And because but I I've do never paid to, homage. I do have I yet, do, like I do the I, moon. Welcome in, Kayla. I have two, but I ha Hello, darling. I have two... Um, gods that i work with i have odin which is for like your tarots and your balance and stuff like that then i have kananos which is my my elemental yeah, energy kananos. for like nature and stuff so yeah. I, I work with them a lot so i do do my also, sun energy. Do, i don't know if you got them or not but the, when i was getting the freya's uh, sub box we got the green woman and the green man i do believe pendants so a lot of the time as well, when it's one of the seasons, I'll put like the male pendant on one of my candles and then the female pendant on the other candle and do that as a representation. So even if you've not got it. hundreds of fancy stuff, do a wee stick man, <laughs> you know, a wee stick girl. It's anything that you're putting your energy into is my point. It's but doing that balance. Kayleigh, what are we talking about? Oh, we were just going over some of the things that you can connect to because mystical still not feeling too well, so we're not doing a full witchy 101 teaching tonight. We're just going over some things to help you connect. So definitely rewatch and hit the like, please, guys. So, so is there any guys, questions, you know, guys? Is there any questions that you want to ask us about about how to connect to something, anything specific? I mean, we won't spend much time on it tonight, but we will maybe cover it for the last ten minutes. Hey, like on, on, like on our next witchy one, on our, are we doing that thing that you're saying about on our next witchy one hundred and one show? Or are we doing that separately from it? The star of one. Are we doing that on witchy one hundred and one? Well, or are we doing that separately? We could do it separate. We don't need to make it. A the witchy reason I'm saying that is because obviously, if we're doing these classes, so this these classes may have eight because obviously we've just had this random talk one today, which we needed to yeah. do. So next week's one should be like talking about how to connect with your divine energy and your higher self. You really do need to learn yeah. to connect to your, to your divine energy and your higher self and have an understanding about it before you start yeah. trying to do it. You know what I mean? So I've yeah, got all yeah. the content and stuff together for that. So Yeah, we'll definitely do that then next week. And then the week after and that, then we'll like start, start then we can, yeah. about different diets and different ways to connect. And then what we'll do, guys, is we'll just with a star, we'll put that out as um, have, maybe even could each do one and show you how we do our altar for a star or something. And then it can be just go into the witchy one or two or something or on each person's channel. Yeah. Well, I need of course, to take yeah. my we'll, guys, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely put it into the witchy into the witchy channel bits, definitely, because it is an educational thing for it. So, and obviously at the minute, um. Because obviously, um, obviously, with the witchy one hundred and one shows and stuff that we had, like most of the stuff that we've spoke about already on witchy one hundred and one, I've got so many videos that already cover that. There's no point me yeah. keep making more and more videos. So the only video you've got to really look out for is where I give you like the instructions and the details on how to do your meditation and your shadow exercises yeah. to help you do shadow work and yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mystic will be back next week, I reckon. Yes, yes. we hope so. We are playing yeah, we'll back to teach you guys. It'd be so good. Do you remember, we've done this twice before, so there is still a few of the videos out there that Sister Sherry and I done on the last time we did the teaching. So we don't need to keep going over and over them. So there's a few that Sister Sherry's going to share that we've done before. And the information on them, guys, if you, is <coughs> so useful. If you go on to Witchy, 101, uh, Witchy 102, all of them, they're in there, all the videos that me and Sister Drew done together on other places. And, see, but because you, it represents what we're talking about and what we spoke about here, it was just an ideal video um, to put into the playlist. So 
if you go onto my channel on witchy 102 you'll see all of the playlist videos in there like i said the only one that's got to come on there is the it, guys. exercises on how to do your meditation and your shadow work i don't need to give you detail about how to do that because you've got videos in there as well as our 101 show that we've done on it yeah so you just need the exercises so you can do the you know the stuff and i'm going to be doing that this week but so okay, it'll be guys, out I'm this week you, one or two. and obviously there ain't really going to so be any there's not going to be a follow on video from this there's no point because it was just a normal talk and we was just telling you about different no, energies. Just, yeah. All of the other videos will follow with the other ones because we'll be talking to you in detail about different deities and how to connect and what they like and all that yeah. sort of stuff. Hey guys, it's in the chat just now that Thank Sister you. Sherry's playlist. Yeah. It's got Witchy 102. It's got it's quite got a few videos. All the different, um, yeah, it's got quite a lot of the, the different ones. It's already we've already been over before, so definitely check them out. I do believe and I need to go onto your channel as well. I do need to go onto your channel and find some of your witchy videos you've done where you've done your old yeah, and stuff you. like that and put that in there as well. Yeah, because you know, but most of the ones that me and sister Drew done together are on that list, so you'll see the ones that we used to do. Check it out, guys. Yep. Mm. Uh, it's getting to nearly so half past though, guys. So it is nearly the hour and a yeah, half. Yeah, and I don't want to keep mystical on here too long, guys. She needs to go and chill out a little while. So yeah. we're going to end it. Just in... anything else you want to say, Sherry, about anything that's coming up as well? Just keep anything an eye out. That... Obviously, I done I done my made my channel in show today at 6 p.m that is up on my channel please go and watch that I'm guys watch that, that. Is really important to do that <laughs> there's going to be a meditation out on I'm sunday next um but yeah there's going to be a meditation out on sunday in the daytime and i've also got past life card readings live on sunday evening so come over because we are going to try and dive into some of our past i'll be able to get some questions and stuff Ooh, in the room and I'll be good. That. so we're going to do that so Let's and see. obviously next week just look up for like my uploads like my music and my meditations any educational stuff i do that through the week so just keep an eye out Brilliant. and make sure you go over to mystical and check out mystical our sister as well guys because she's got yeah mystical's been putting a lot of a lot of things out guys and as and we and sister sherry's tarot of the day and remember sister, sister sherry and i is doing tarot of the day now guys so Make sure that yes, you that check out well. both channels for that. Uh, and me especially, I am just going to be trying to go back to my Monday streams, which will be probably just about an hour. And I'll only be like maybe telling like a Scottish folklore tale, maybe telling some of the tales about some of the creepy things that's happened in Scotland. And then yes. Saturdays will be my one-to-one -one with Drew. And then we'll be on Mystical's channel on a Tuesday. And then we're Witchy 101 on a Friday. So check them all out, guys. Yeah, and remember, it? check out Christina, Mystical, Uncle Danny. <laughs> Luna. Everybody. All, everybody yeah, Luna, there, all back, them. guys. A yeah. lot of you that watch the rerun will remember Luna. Luna's back and doing her streams at <coughs> night again with Christina. So check that out because it's great to have her back. But we are going to cut off of here we do appreciate all of you my angels and thank you for coming in and being with us tonight and thank you again to luke for the lovely comment about us educating and stuff yeah, that really really touched you. our hearts we hope that you do have a blessed and pleasant evening and we love you very very much sis do you want to say bye quickly bye bye everybody and have a blessed weekend and we're going to go off. So Merry Partings to you all, my angels, and let's be and stay safe. Bye, everybody. Uh...